All right. Good day. We're going to look at this issue of uh, earning extra crowns. So I'm not sure uh, if you're familiar with this. So I'll try to go over it roughly. Um, just do, you know, a Google search and how to receive extra crowns. How many crowns can you get in, in heaven? <clears throat> Proponents of this concept interpret these passages as specifying five separate crowns. These being the crown of life, the incorruptible crown, the crown of righteousness, the crown of glory, and the crown of exgoliation. Whatever that word is. Alright, so I found this article. And uh, the question is, why should we earn crowns for heaven? And a person wrote in and said, I have a question about what has been termed to be earning my crown. My husband and I want to hear your explanation of what earning jewels in the crown means. My parents have told me that by doing good works on earth, they are earning jewels in their crowns, and they will receive a greater reward in heaven. It seems to us that when we go to some kind of system to be rewarded in heaven, that's defeating the purpose and is almost pharisaical. If we choose to do things, saying we are doing the act, that act to glorify God in order to get a reward, to me it smacks of a religion rather than relationship with the Lord. Can you enlighten us? All right. And then uh, this person, he says, uh, should a Christian work for rewards? A resounding yes. Please look up and digest Second Corinthians uh, 2 Corinthians 3, 10 through 15. Well, this is a mistake here. Uh, what? Who cares? He, he's looking up the... Okay, so he's, the, he's way off. I don't know why he can't correct that on his own website. 2 Corinthians 3 is... <clears throat> Where the veil is over their eyes until they believe, and then the veil is lifted up. Okay, so who cares? Uh, he, but he's saying, uh, you know, where he's talking about First Corinthians, where Paul describes Jesus' process for determining how well or how poorly we spend our lives on earth. The more profitable our lives, the more rewards we earn, the greater will be the position that we will have in heaven. Some Christians will be disappointed. Yeah, and you might be one of them. Okay, and then uh, the uh, the soul winner's crown of evangelism. Okay, for what? It, okay, I'm not going to read that. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm going to go to First Corinthians uh, three ten. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another build thereon. But let every man take heed how he builds thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. All right, so um, the reward, uh, this is... Uh, the, Explaining is, you know, if you uh, the, giving a, to give an example, if you are uh, forgiving of others who transgress against you, okay, that you'll be rewarded because that's the way. Uh, that's how do I say this? That that's. The, the mindset, if you will, of being in the everlasting body, in the glorified body. Okay, so if you um, love everybody, you'll be rewarded because that's the mindset of what it's like in the life to come hereafter. 
I'm not sure. I hope that I hope that makes sense, right? Um, so these are the kinds of things that you'll be rewarded. Now, if you if you get uh, you know angry with your brother without a cause, that that's going to be you can that's going to be burned off. All your you know if whatever sin you might have, that's going to get burned off. That's not going with you into the next life in the re regeneration, if you will. All right, so you're not you're not going to be able to glorify over somebody else because oh i did more good works than you did that's not how it works at all okay so let's read <clears throat> the parable of jesus just to hammer this point home well, I, ho I hope that makes sense for you um, um but let's read this for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out in about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, why stand ye here all day, all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man has hired us. He says unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. And so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every penny, every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, <clears throat> These have, uh, these last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Does not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. So this is clear that... If you came late, or if you've been here for 60 years, you're going to get rewarded the same, okay? You're going to get the same reward, and that's everlasting life. That, that should be good enough. What, do you want a crown with a jewel in it? You know, what good is that going to do you? You're not going to, you're not going to get anything special over another man. It's like... Uh, it's like, uh, what is that, Second Ephesians 2? We are saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Am I quoting that right? Not of works, lest any man should boast. So you, if you continue, and these people will continuously push this idea that you've got to be good people. You're not good people. All right, that's why you need a Savior. Okay, and that the person that wrote in is exactly right. You're defeating the purpose. You're becoming religious. It smacks of me of religion rather than relationship with the Lord. Can you? Yeah, yeah. So I would challenge you. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's buying this stuff. You, uh, you know, you can look this up. The five crowns. I don't, I don't even listen to this junk. And they, uh, they classify. Five different crowns. It, I mean, it's just silliness. It's ridiculous. And, I, you know, I'm just going to say, don't buy it. Read the Bible. What's the Bible say? All right, that's it.